Hey, are we rolling? Let's do it. Great. Hey, I'm Taylor, a student at the University of Victoria. COVID may have impacted our lives significantly over the past couple years, but it's not going to stop us from celebrating our seriously amazing alumni family. Today, you're going to meet a very special group of them, the recipients of this year's Distinguished Alumni Awards. Before we begin, I'd like to acknowledge and respect the Lekwungen peoples on whose traditional territory the university stands, and the Songhees, Esquimalt, and Wasanich peoples, whose historical relationships with the land continue to this day. For anyone new to the Distinguished Alumni Awards, there are three categories. Sorry about that. The Emerging Alumni Awards, the Indigenous Community Alumni Award, and finally the... Uh, I'm so sorry, uh, I should probably answer this. It's the President, Kevin Hall. Hi, Kevin. Yes, good timing. Uh, I'm actually introducing the Distinguished Alumni Awards right now. <laughs> yep, yeah, uh, I was just talking about that category. Yep, I know you're excited. <laughs> okay, don't worry, I'll be coming over to you shortly. As I was saying, the final category is the President's Alumni Award, presented jointly by the President of the University and the UVic Alumni Association President, who we'll hear from later. Now, I'd like to ask Dr. Kevin Hall, President of the University of Victoria, to kick things off. Well, thanks, Taylor. And hello to everyone viewing this from across the world. We're here to celebrate an impressive list of UVic grads. Every day I hear stories about alumni who are positively contributing to their communities. And I want to say that learning about your work and its impact certainly inspires me, my work, and the entire UVic community. Right now at the university, we're really excited to build on our excellent track record in academics and research. But we're also really committed to the process of decolonizing this institution addressing the issues of equity and inclusion, leading on climate action and sustainability, and cultivating innovation, all while engaging deeply with communities locally and around the world. We're really looking forward to the future and imagining how the university can contribute to our regional and global communities. As a university, we're called upon to respond to emerging and accelerating challenges facing our ever-changing world. And I'm incredibly proud to learn about how our alumni, especially the people that we're honoring today, are making a difference in helping to build the better society we all envision. Connecting with alumni has been important to me through my whole career. It's so great to see how much our UVic grads care for their alma mater, whether that's through mentoring students, sitting on an advisory board, hiring a new grad, taking a continuing studies class, or attending these kinds of events. These are fantastic things to get involved in. It doesn't matter if you graduated five or 25 years ago, UVic loves being connected with you and celebrating your achievements. So let's get on with that now. It's back to you, Taylor. Thanks so much, Kevin. Now I'd like to introduce Marion Buller, the new chancellor of the University of Victoria. Marion is a renowned legal scholar, judge, two-time alumna, and a past Distinguished Alumni Award recipient. Marion will now introduce the first two award categories. Thanks, Taylor. As a past award recipient myself, I'm so proud to introduce some of the alumni being honored this year. The first category is the Emerging Alumni Awards, which recognize outstanding professional achievements and or contributions of recent alumni to the community. All recipients of this category have graduated in the past 10 years. The recipients of this year's Emerging Alumni Awards are Bryce Jones, Carol Linnett, Devesh Bardwaj, Kim Senklip Harvey, and Sage Lassert. Let's hear from them now. This is Bryce Jones, the CEO and founder of Flash Forest, and um, I'm gonna answer a few questions for you. So the first question is, why is receiving this award important to you? Uh, this award is important to me because I think it shows you that 
uh, as a student at UVic, you can do something that has an impact. Um, and what, whatever that is for you, you know, whatever it is you care about, for me it was climate change. Um, I developed a passion and I, I, I grew a lot over my experience at UVic. And this has led me to a place where I'm now running a company that can have a large potential impact on the future. Um, so my advice, uh, another question here is your, what would you, what advice would you give to your younger self? And my advice would be, don't let anything stop you. So dream really big. Um, I think keep your mind open, stay creative, surround yourself with interesting and smart people. Um, stay curious and dream big. You can do it. One of my favorite memories of being a student at UVic was just like coming onto the campus and um, just being warmly welcomed into such a beautiful, natural space. Um, I think the opportunity to study here in Victoria and to call Victoria home has been incredibly enriching in my life. Um, if I could go back and give a piece of advice to my younger self as a student, it would be to not fret about the unpredictability of the world and career paths. Um, I would encourage myself to just enjoy my studies for what they are and to seize upon opportunities that I felt really passionate about in the moment. Um, my career has been unexpected in a lot of ways and um, my career path has been sort of sidelong and bizarre and wonderful and so much of that I couldn't have predicted and yet a lot of what I learned along the way through my studies and um, through my work as a journalist really brought me to where I am today, most of which I couldn't have predicted. So I just say, enjoy what you're doing and especially enjoy the experience and the privilege and the luxury of being able to study in a university setting. The advice I would give to a younger person entering the line of work or looking to create an impact or perhaps confused is one, the first rather, is to find a problem that's meaningful, a problem that excites you, a problem that's worth solving. Two is to stay obsessed. Learn as much as you can about the problem, the people it affects, and the market. Well, what is it, the gap in the market that once filled will create the impact or create the world you see? Third is to fall in love and stay in love with the problem and not to fall in love with your solution. Fourth is to stay at it. You will fail a lot, which is great. When you're solving a problem which has not been solved before, Failure teaches you what does not work, and it brings you closer to what will. As I say to my team, accumulation of micro failures leads to macro win, as long as you point it in the right direction. And fifth is focus and hard work. Strong determination, focus and hard work will achieve anything. There's nothing you could not achieve once you stay focused and you work hard. This uh, emerging distinguished, distinguished, I really tried to look distinguished today. <laughs> um, emerging Alumni Award is really important because I think for a lot of Indigenous students, being in the academy, especially when you're away from home, um, can be a little bit uh, scary, can be isolating, um, and can be extra challenging. University presents its challenge unto itself, but for Indigenous and racialized students, um, there are many more challenges and, and complexities to participating. So for me, when I was doing my for me, when I was doing my undergrad, um, I didn't see a lot of Indigenous people at the university. I certainly didn't see a lot of Indigenous people being celebrated, um, and I certainly didn't see a lot of Indigenous people doing the creative uh, theoretical work that I'm working on that focuses on Indigenous power, Indigenous joy, matriarchal-led systems, um, and the prowess and power of Indigenous peoples. So it means a lot that the institution believes in what I'm doing and believes that it deserves ample Hadi Sage Lissert Sadni Tebes Nachalia Lokongin Keo Saikana Lashabu Injun Yankatene Keo. I wanted to share one piece, which is that my goal in life, my goal in my academics is to rematriate in in all senses of the word. And my time at UVic enabled me to fill my tool basket with the tools and knowledge, both 
both Western and Indigenous knowledge that I require to be able to enact rematriation. And I do that through the Nesting Duo Collective by bringing black and brown BIPOC babies into the world in a good way. I do that at Sage Initiative by enabling Indigenous women to practice financial independence and invest in their communities and at the Moose High Campaign by raising awareness about gender-based violence and working towards our vision of ending violence towards women and children in Canada by engaging men and boys in those conversations and using this as the mechanism to do that. Fabulous work, everyone. These achievements so early in your career are very impressive, and I hope you are all very proud. As a member of the Mistawasis Nehewak, a First Nation in Saskatchewan, and an advocate for Indigenous issues and rights, I see my role while Chancellor as helping you, Vic, build new relationships and incorporate Indigenous principles in everything we do. I'm so delighted to introduce our next category, the Indigenous Community Alumni Awards. New this year, these awards recognize the contributions recipients have made to Indigenous communities that have improved the outcomes for Indigenous people and contribute to truth and reconciliation. The recipients of the first Indigenous Community Alumni Awards are Corey Stevens, Denise St. Clair, Jace Meyer, and Luann Neal, Lydia Whitsum, Marion Newman, and Shailene Jobin. Let's hear what they have to say. Hi there, my name is Corey Stevens. I'm here in Prince Rupert, BC. That's located on the traditional territory of the Shimshan people. I am from the village of Metlakatla, and that's the closest First Nation to Prince Rupert in Northwestern British Columbia. As a student of the Gustafson School of Business, I think one of the things that I really took away from my time at the university was learning and understanding the power of entrepreneurship. Subsequently, I've taken that time since university to uh, spend more than 20 years working in the field of economic development and entrepreneurship. And uh, over the last eight years, I've been working with the Gustafson School of Business and Tricorp, guiding Indigenous entrepreneurs throughout British Columbia to assist and help them build their dreams and launch their very own businesses. And I believe that's one of the most valuable um, things that, that I contribute to, to my community. And I'm incredibly proud of that. And uh, thank you for this distinguished alumni award. It is an honor to receive the UVic Distinguished Alumni Award. It is, of course, the result of many people working together over many years. This occasion brings back vivid memories of the First Nations elders who welcomed me into their homes, sharing with me, teaching me aspects of their history and culture, which had become unknown to the general public and also members of their own nations. The shared ethnographic knowledge informed and shaped by archaeological research in New Channel's traditional territory for the past 49 years. An important aspect of this work has been training First Nations youth in archaeological techniques, thereby increasing their nation's capacity to engage in this important work. I have thoroughly enjoyed the occasions I have been able to give back to First Nations the results of my work and that of my colleagues through publications, workshops, and other events. I particularly wish to single out Adam Shuish, the late hereditary head chief, or Tai Hawit, of the Tsishad First Nation. He opened many doors by trusting me and displaying that support to the leaders of other First Nations. It was truly an exceptional honor when he adopted me into his family. Once again, Thank you, Yuvik, for this opportunity and award. Tenzi, my name is Jace Meyer, and I am honored to have been named a Yuvik Distinguished Alumni. 
I am joining a legacy of incredible human beings and I'm deeply humbled by this invitation. Many haichikas for the recognition. This opportunity means that I am currently making my grandma so proud. As the first uh, woman in our family to attend post-secondary, this is a high honor for my entire lineage. I want to welcome my mom into this experience with me. My mom is Helen Poirier, and she has taught me through her actions that education is a lifelong pursuit and nobody is too old or too young to start their learning journey. And that has been so impactful for how I think about education and the kinds of education experiences I've tried to create since my time at UVic the best way that I could reciprocate uh, my gratitude for this award is to bring you out onto the water and the land that shaped me. Today I'm in Leguankin speaking territory of the Songhees and Esquimalt nations where I spent the better part of my youth. And as a nomadic young Métis woman, this was profoundly life-changing to feel this sense of connection, belonging, and welcoming from the communities that I got to teach and more importantly learn from. My name is Luann Neal, and I am from the Mamalilikla and the Kwagil people of Northern Vancouver Island. I'm very honored today to be one of the recipients of this year's Distinguished Alumni Awards. This award means a great deal to me as it affirms all of the wonderful things I learned during my time in the School of Public Admin and in the Administration of Aboriginal Governments program. My best memories of this program are the times when our all native cohort gathered on campus to exchange ideas, learn about one another's communities and how to build solutions together. If I had one piece of advice for indigenous students considering this line of study, it would be to always be ready for change and always be part of the solution. Leila Kasla. As a Kwagil from Stalo First Nations woman, as a person who was homeschooled until I went to university and as a musician, this receiving this award is really validating. I really like the idea of being able to speak to myself um, as the person I am now, um, speak to myself back when I was in UVic. And if I were to run into my younger self, I would say, don't beat yourself up about making some mistakes in your final piano recital. You learn the most from your mistakes and you're going to become a singer anyway. And everything you've learned um, as a pianist will, will feed your singing career. And also you're going to do a lot of other things. Um, and mistakes keep you humble. My mom went to UVic uh, for an education degree, her master's, and I so I actually attended UVic um, with her as her little kid and occasionally went to classes. And I think I probably started dreaming of going to UVic at like age four, which is kind of hilarious. And on my dad's side of the family, I'm the first person to receive a university education, a university degree. And now there are so many Indigenous people receiving degrees and going on to do really wonderful things out in the public and, and um, stepping into their power and their pride. And um, yeah, I just am really glad to be part of that community of people who are, who are doing things um, not just for themselves, but to make our community stronger and to find new ways of connecting with each other and um, of helping the world understand what it is to share in our, our lived experience. Kanze, Shirin Joben Nitsigasun, Loretta Watini Nigui, Fred Joben Pom Notui. Uh, my name is Shailene Jobin. I am Cree from the Wetney family um, and we're citizens of Red Pheasant Cree First Nation on my mother's side and my late father was Métis from Northern Alberta from the Jobin family. And uh, yeah, I was in the graduate program in Indigenous Governance. I graduated in 2005 and it was a really transformational time in my life and the program was transformational and it really uh, got me interested in doing academic work. And uh, 
how we can think of Indigenous self-determination and supporting um, goals for self-determination um, through the work we do in universities. And now I'm an Associate Professor and Canada Research Chair in Indigenous Governance at the University of Alberta. Congratulations to all of you who are receiving this award and thank you for the important work that you are doing. I know your success is in part the result of many people who have supported you and it was difficult to acknowledge these many individuals in your short video clips. So I encourage all of you watching to please take a moment the next time you are at your computers to visit the alumni website to learn more about each of the recipients. Thank you Marion for introducing our first two categories. And Wow, is anyone feeling as inspired as I am right now? Thank you to our recipients for sharing such moving and insightful reflections. The advice that you have shared is valuable, not just to us students and the future generation, but also for alumni and community members of all ages, regardless of what stage in our lives we're in. Hearing these stories and the impact UVic had on your work makes me proud to be a future UVic alumna. Just as UVic has impacted you, your work is raising UVic's profile and improving the campus experience for the many generations to come. I can't wait to hear from the rest of our recipients. Let's check in with Jerry Bliss, the president of the Alumni Association, so he can introduce the final category. Hello everyone. Isn't technology great for allowing us to virtually celebrate and recognize the accomplishments of our alumni? The awards in this final category are given on behalf of myself and the President of the University and represent the highest honour the Alumni Association can bestow upon alumni. They recognize a lifetime of outstanding accomplishments that have earned national or international regard or alumni who have had significant local impact as a result of their professional achievements or service to society. The recipients of this year's President's Alumni Awards are Domine Akavan, Doug White, Derek Juno, Karen Clark Cole, Lynn Beecroft, Robert Niven, Sarah Hunt, and Madeline Redfern. We are so fortunate and proud these individuals are members of our UVic community. Now, let's hear from each of them. Receiving this award is important to me because it shows that UVic values the contribution of their alumni in the community. And I feel that all the work I've done is valued by an institute that was once my home during some of the most challenging years for me as a young adult. Being recognized as a woman of color, immigrant, working in a male-dominated industry, to be chosen shows that UVEC is dedicated to looking at the bigger picture, the whole person, and a person's journey within UVEC and outside of the university. And everything I have contributed to within the local community, our province, Canada, and globally. The advice I would give to myself and those entering my line of work would be to get involved in the community and outside of your comfort zone. I did as much as I could with the amount of information I had access to at the time, but it wasn't, it wasn't nearly enough. Not only will you be contributing to the betterment of your community, you would also make invaluable connections. Thank you. It is an honor to receive this award. My time at UVic was uh, pretty impactful on me and um, I made some wonderful friends and today we are still those friends, th th you know, all these years later we're still very good friends and I see them on a day-to-day -day basis, which is amazing, I think. And I'd also, in closing, would love to just thank the Alumni Association for be, being considered for this award. It means a lot to me, and um, I'm sure that uh, it would, it's going to be 
It's, it's just great. That's all I can say. Thank you very much. So why is receiving this award important to me? Well, I think this award goes not only to me, but everyone that I work alongside of. I'm obviously very honored to be recognized, but I really do think it is for myself and everyone that I work with that is tirelessly trying to make this world and our community a better place. I think it also shows that we're shifting away from honoring business leaders who can just accrue as much money for themselves and their corporations, but rather supporting and praising business leaders that are really putting our communities and the world for it first, which I think is very important. My favorite memory of being a student at UVic would be in my third year. I went to JDC West business case competition and myself, Andrew Hall and Graham Rogers won the first, first place that UVic had ever won at that business case competition in the history of the whole competition at Not-for-Profit Business Strategy. That was an amazing experience. I'll never forget it. Hi there, my name is Karen Clark Cole, and I am incredibly honored to be receiving the 2022 UVic President's Alumni Award. Why I love UVic is because it's big enough to have world-class courses and curriculum, yet small enough and accessible to have really deep connections with professors and to build long-lasting friendships with other students. At UVic, I learned about joy by taking as many fun-sounding classes as I possibly could and being supported and inspired by my professors and the general UVic campus environment. By doing this, I learned to be in tune with what made me feel happy. For me, the path to success was long with a lot of hard work, so it was critical that I loved what I was doing. The energy and hours I spent building my craft and my company were built on the foundation of passion and purpose. I think the University of Victoria allows all of us to uh, fulfill our dreams in whatever capacity that we have so and make a difference in, in our own chosen field. And I've had uh, the distinct honour to coach some wonderful, wonderful young women who have had um, success uh, athletically. I think we've won 14 national championships in, in that time. Uh, and I think there's been over 60 young women that have gone on to represent Canada in the sport of field hockey, so I'm very proud of that. But I think more importantly, I'm very proud of the fact that um, the women that have graduated from this program have gone on to be very successful in their particular line of work, whether it's uh, a doctor, a physio, a, a teacher. Um, I think we have 12 doctors that have come through this program. So. Each one of them had a, a, a passion that they, uh, that they followed and uh, have been extremely successful in what they've done. I would say that my best memories came from the camaraderie that I developed from some of the other students that worked just as hard as I did to survive the chemistry undergrad program, which was incredibly challenging. And I can remember many late nights uh, cramming for upcoming midterms or finals, trying to finish projects or lab reports, drinking really bad coffee from gas stations at Chevron nearby. Uh, but that all really drew us all closer and I'm still in touch with many of them here today. And I, I really look back fondly at those memories that showed me that if I worked hard, I could achieve really difficult things. And I've taken that with me and have used it to build this company and I hope to instill that on my kids as well about how the role of hard work in pursuing education and other professional endeavors. I have no problem waking up in the morning and feeling really inspired about the work that we do because I get to work with incredible people and solve some of the world's biggest problems. What more can you ask? And it's just just a phenomenal career. Gila Tesla. Uh, to me, receiving this Distinguished Alumni Award is especially meaningful right now because I've recently returned to UVic as a Canada Research Chair. Um, and I know my 17-year-old self, um, you know, when I first started here as an undergrad in Gender Studies, uh, really could never have imagined being at the front of the classroom, uh, leading research initiatives, leading a research program, and having the opportunity to teach uh, Indigenous students and non-Indigenous students to bring 
our knowledge alive in the classroom and in this institution um, in a new way, in a way that's really changed and trans transformed over the last several decades. Um, and to bring the community knowledge that uh, I've been fostering over the past several decades since my undergrad. Um, I think this is a real recognition of the significance of all of those voices that I carry with me. So I raise my hands. Gila Kessa. What an impressive and diverse representation of achievement covering athletics, academia, politics, business, arts, science, technology, the list goes on. Congratulations and thank you to all the award recipients for your words, your contributions to society, and for inspiring us all. You can read more about each of the recipients at the UVic alumni website, including those who were not able to submit a video. Before I sign off, I just want to say that I believe the University of Victoria is a special place. It's not just a university, it's a community that extends far beyond the physical campus. I can see the values of UVic reflected in those awards recipients and in all alumni who are making a positive impact around the world. UVic graduates inspire those around them every day. Let's continue to celebrate and recognize their accomplishments and please, let's stay in touch. Back to you, Taylor. Thanks so much, Jerry. I'm getting so excited to graduate and join this alumni community. These awards are all about celebrating our awesome alumni, so I invite all of you around the globe to reach out and congratulate this year's Distinguished Alumni Award recipients. And consider nominating a worthy alumnus for the 2023 Distinguished Alumni Awards. Nominations open on May 2nd.